Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here for RC Nightmare and today I'm giving you yet another tutorial on our Axial Wraith. This video is all about power. Uh, the stock setup, I got it in front of me here. This is the stock speed controller that came on it. We had no issues with this whatsoever. It's still in perfect working condition. And here we got a stock closed can brush motor. This is a 20 turn. And again, no issues with this. I did just fine. Pretty good speed for a stock setup. Decent power. We wanted a little bit more torque. So we took out the old system and we're substituting it for a Valenian system from Traxxas. Now you can choose to put in whatever you'd like for this. I mean, it's going to fit any standard 540 can motor. We just chose to go with the, the Traxxas one because it's brushless, it's waterproof, and it's still drop and fit. It's got gobs and gobs of torque. Now, some people might tell you there's a little modifying you need to do to put in the stock system. That's more or less not true. I didn't have to do any true modifying to the vehicle, really. I'm going to walk you through how I installed it so you can see exactly what I did. The first step to get to the motor in ESC is to take off the bottom plate here. Now, this whole body piece, the roll cage and all the body panels are kind of one unit, so you don't have to mess with that. You won't have to take them off at all. Flip it over, and what we're going to focus on are eight screws. You, I see, you, got, you guys can see I got four out here. There's four on the other side. Take these eight out all together so that the lower center skid plate is completely loose. And then what you're going to want to do is remove the front two upper shock screws. So I got these guys pulled out already, and on the back, just remove one of them. This is the back side, this is the front side. I'm going to remove this last one here on the front. I got one on the back removed, and I'll show you what this is going to do. Once you have all those out, this thing is ready to completely come apart. So the whole power system kind of pulls out of here. And this, if I flip it back over, this gives me easy access to the power system without having to really disassemble too much on the rig. So now you can see... It kind of separates into two halves. You have your Lynx drivetrain and the body on the top. And this gives me enough room to play with it. So now you can see our Valenian motor bolted right up to the stock motor plate. It's a real tight fit against this lower, the lower skid plate here where all the Lynx attach, but I didn't have an issue with it. It just cleared, but I'll tell you what I did have to do. I had to remove this back cap on here. It's just a plastic cap that goes onto the stock, to on the, onto the Traxxas motor. And I guess the cap's important on protecting the wires and connections, but for our application, I had no problem removing it, and it allowed me just enough clearance to sneak, sneak in that motor, no problem. So again, that's how you get easy access to it. You're removing one of the rear upper shock bolts, the two front, and then there's four bolts on each side of the center skid plate here. It's going to allow this whole unit to drop down and give you, again, like you can see here, really good working room on it. And I'm not disassembling all the links. I'm not taking apart the body at all. Really easy to get to. In terms of the speed controller, the stock speed controller actually installed right up into the tunnel here. It was kind of tucked up in there. The Valenian ESC is just a little bit big for that. I couldn't find a spot where I like the fit. So I ended up putting up in the driver's side kick panel here, if you will. Or on the passenger side, I'm sorry. So if you look, you can just see it peeking out here. It looks like it's kind of in a funny spot, but it's real easy to get to. I can get my hand in there and turn it on and off. I can see the light, no problem. It's up raised off above the ground, so I don't have to worry about it being soaked when we drive this thing through water, which we will be. Um, and on top of that, I found a nice stock bolt mount for it. So the body Lexans here of all these screws that are holding them in, I replaced this screw right here, and I'll give you a close-up of it, with a 3 millimeter screw that went right through, I think it was about 15 millimeters long, went right through and bolted on the stock Valenian mount. So now the Valenian's bolted in there, no modifications, no tape to worry about coming loose. It was a real clean install, and I think it worked out pretty well. So again, that's the Valenian. This is the, obviously the 10th scale, the 3500 kV. I ran in there just fine. It's got tons of power now. We're going to get you a running video of this and show you exactly what it can do now with all this power on tap. And we haven't even touched a 3-cell. I'm still running a 2-cell in here, which is more than enough power. So if you have any questions about this install, maybe you're doing the same thing or something different, feel free to comment on down below. While you're at it, check out our website, rcnightmare.com. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll see you soon.